17 years for the TID originally was a little aggressive anyways. So I, I think this really worked out well. Yeah, I'm happy that it moved to the 20. It'll get done properly. We have a motion. We have a second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carries. That moves us to item D, which is to consider the resolution 07-91 to approve an extension of the approval of the final plot, engineering plans, development agreement, and related documents for the first stage of the courts of Kensington Development, which is generally located east of 63rd Avenue and north of State Highway 165. Mr. President, members of the uh, of the board, you have before you resolution 07-91, and this is a resolution to actually reconsider the final plat engineering plans and development agreement and related documents for the Courts of Kensington Project. As you know, the Courts of Kensington Project is proposed to be located north of Highway 165 and about 62nd Avenue. This is a project that was before you in early November, and. Um, most, if not all, of our closing documents were all in order, along with um, the commitments from the bank to move forward on this project. Um, but the developer ran into a snag, and I see that he is in the audience, and if you'd like to hear from him, um, he is requesting a 90-day extension in order to uh, put the financing in order for this development. As you know, we are experiencing a somewhat soft uh, real estate market at this time, making it very difficult for some projects to move forward not sure if, if uh, Mr. Stonick has any comments or if you'd like to be able to address the board. Any comments, Mr. Stonick? Uh, yes, a few. <laughs> Doug Stonick, 9110 Prairie Village Drive. Uh, we just need a, just a little additional time in order to get uh, the final process uh, completed and it, uh, within a 90 day structure, it will be more than possible. So appreciate whatever you do. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think that's the reason we request by Mr. Stein and I move to approve the resolution the Second. Motion by Mike, second by Monica, adoption of resolution 07-91 for the discussion on the site. Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So please. Next item is item E, and that is to consider resolution 07-89. Preliminary resolution declaring the intent to exercise special assessment police powers for the construction of sanitary sewer improvements on Bain Station Road, east of County Trump C, 1,750 feet to the Ashbury Creek development. Mr. President, uh, this resolution is, uh, allows the village to conduct a special assessment hearing to that would be a special assessment for sanitary sewer um, along Main Station Road. We, this uh, special assessment is in conjunction with the development, the Ashbury Creek development, where they're entitled to rare recovery from the special assessments on that project. We, this resolution is rescinding resolution 0712 that we had adopted in March. Uh, the project was completed before the final could, could be adopted. And, as such, after that time, the, the project numbers had changed and, and actually had gone down. So we need to modify that, that original resolution and adopt this and uh, conduct a hearing to levy the special assessment. As such, I recommend that resolution 079 be adopted and a hearing be set for three weeks from, I mean, four weeks from time. So Motion by Steve, second by Monica for adoption of resolution 07-89. Four weeks, Monica says? Yes. Common question? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> so carries. That moves us on to item F, and that is to consider resolution 07-90, resolution authorizing audio recordings of the open meetings recorded at the Village Hall to be posted to the Village's website. Mike, uh, Mr. President, uh, this resolution um, provides, a, I guess, the impetus for the Village to, to place the, the, the audio recordings uh, that are used to record this meeting and every other uh, 
commission meeting, with the exception of the uh, police and fire commission, uh, onto the website. We've uh, recently with modifications, not really have some modification because it's the same place, but we redid, uh, we insulated the roof deck and uh, the walls. And as we insulated that roof deck, we put in a conduit to put in, improved the speaker system, and, and our IT staff made some, some minor improvements to the, to the audio system. Uh, we we use this uh, you know, recordings to develop a, a record of the meeting. Um, what this resolution is uh, is doing is authorizing and setting forth the policy for the for the village meetings that are conducted uh, in this room uh, to have those recordings within a, at least a two day period at the, at the longest be uh, placed up on the website so people can access them from the from the web and listen to the, to the meeting in a digital format. The uh, staff will still contract out to have the, the minutes transcribed uh, from, the, from the recordings. And people are welcome to follow, the, follow along uh, the minutes from the recording. But one thing that uh, everybody has to keep in mind is, is that the, the minutes that are transcribed are the, are the official document of, of the village for a couple of reasons. One is it's, it's the progression of the meeting. You know, as, as we all know, we sit here at the board meeting. Um, people want to speak. The, the, the president acknowledges you know, who has the floor. That person speaks. Um, and then there's a subsequent vote or motion taken, and votes are, are held. The, and that is the official record. That's the record that, that's adopted. Is that always reflect everything that happens in the meeting? No, it doesn't. If there's someone talking out of order, if there's somebody that says something that wasn't acknowledged or addressed from the chair, those are, are not comments. No one loses their, their right to the floor when they're speaking based on someone else talking, someone from the audience making a comment, someone from the staff making a comment. So sometimes the, and as you review the minutes, that's your, the, Every board and commission has their opportunity to take a look and say, is this what, what I said? Um, so when people listen to the recordings, they're, they're almost always, not always, but there's going to be a lot of times they're different. And maybe they'll be more different if there's times that you know, a subject gets a little more exciting and, and people might be, might be saying something either from the floor or there's a lot of discussion going on. But in the Roberts Rules, the only people that are part of the, the record are those that acknowledge, acknowledge and have the floor to make a, a statement. And that's what the minutes re reflect. If people want to hear that as well as anything else that was said, that's what you can hear on the report. Um, I believe this really, you know, maybe it's, you know, uh, a minor movement towards getting everything on, and I think it's, you know, listening to them, they're generally, if uh, everybody's speaking in the mic, uh, whether they're staff or citizens or the boards or commissions, and generally you know, everything can be hear, heard, um, it's, it's a, I think it's a good step. The, the minutes are not adopted until they've been transcribed, and Pleasant Prairie goes farther than most communities to provide a transcription of, of what is, is uh, at the meeting. But what the village is required to do is, what any community, uh, government required to do is to provide a, a uh, 